The future is often this thing that we dream about and ponder its direction, although as many of us know, the future never usually works out in the way that we would like. Hence the saying, everything happens for a reason. What's going on movie lovers and welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. My name is Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here, we cover everything from television and movies to celebrities and influencers, so if you're down with that, then just tap that subscribe button to join our notification squad. And make sure you stay all the way until the end because that's where we handpick some of your comments and read them out, even the not so nice ones. Now without any further delay, let's get right into our list of the top 10 TV shows that predicted the future and got it right. In at number 10, Quantum Leap. Originally airing on NBC for five seasons from March 25th, 1989 to May 5th, 1993, this show was all about predicting the future. Even though most of the time they got it horribly wrong, even a broken clock is right twice a day. In the show, a man named Sam has his mind dragged through time and into other people's bodies, with each one being a new task to improve their life. During the episode called All Americans, which premiered in 1990, Sam is watching Super Bowl 30, which wouldn't happen until 1990. As the scene goes, Sam mentions that the Steelers are playing and are trailing by three points. It seems like a very small detail, but fast forward to the actual game and the Steelers are in. Not only that, but at one point, they were trailing by three. I mean, pretty accurate, at least for our number 10 point. In at number nine, Friends. Who would have ever imagined that Ross Geller would be on the cutting edge of social media? Well, a year before Facebook would even be unveiled to the world, the writers on the show Friends made mention of a very similar website. The show made a very accurate prediction that a website like MySpace with a focus on connecting college alumni would come to fruition. From watching this episode, you actually can see all the similarities this website had with Facebook. I mean, the episode featured themes of connecting with old friends, childish pranks, and people commenting on each other's pages over the social media site. The funny thing was that this site was only written in to set up the joke that no one was coming to Ross's funeral. Now Facebook is one of the most successful social media sites to date with over 2 billion people in their database. In at number 8, Scrubs. From the looks of it, a ton of comedy writers are excellent predictors of the future. During an episode of the comedy drama show Scrubs, an unlikely character revealed some very key information about the future of the Iraq war. That's right, the janitor on the show, who was simply known as just that, would often often step in to be the somewhat creepy, comic relief, and minor antagonist at times. He also would often spout off bizarre and wild claims, that's why when he predicted where the location of Osama bin Laden was, it was viewed as just simply crazy. Ah, oh, that crazy janitor. But following 9-11, the US government fully believed that he was hiding in Afghanistan, when in reality, the janitor was right the whole time. Man. Really giving me some goodwill hunting vibes. In at number seven, Parks and Recreation. Again, another big prediction coming by way of a sitcom that's a little more on the positive side than our last point. For those of you who don't watch baseball, the idea of the Cubs winning the World Series before 2016 was unthinkable. For perspective, the Chicago Cubs have only won the World Series three times, 1907, 1908, and then 2016. So when an episode of Parks and Rec aired in 2015, predicting that the Cubs would win the World Series, people were stunned when it actually happened. I mean, think about it. They had not won a World Series in 108 years, and for Cubs fans, that's like three generations. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The show's co-creator does deserve credit for this game-winning prediction, and while speaking about it, he said that all he had to do was track the Cubs' minor league system. I guess he was enough of a baseball aficionado to see what was on the horizon. In at number six, Twilight Zone. In 2020, we all now recognize more and more that things like automation and AI learning systems are rapidly eliminating jobs. However, in the 1960s, the very thought of this was unheard of, and the idea that a machine could replace manpower was just unthinkable. However, the Twilight Zone was far, far ahead of their time. I like to call them the original Black Mirror. The anthology theory showed viewers terrifying tales from planets similar to ours, but just different enough to ease our anxiety. In one episode, a factory manager begins the automation process by firing workers and replacing them with robots. Why? Well, because robots don't need to take breaks or even days off. Now in the modern day, this vision from the past is our reality, whether we like it or not. 
In at number five, The Simpsons. The Simpsons is the longest running primetime scripted series in television history. And when you're 30 seasons deep writing new and hilarious situations for this animated family to go through, you're bound to make a few predictions along the way. However, The Simpsons has made more than a few. In fact, they have accurately predicted 18 different things, one of which was a Donald Trump presidency that no one saw coming right up until it happened. In season number 11, during the episode Bart to the Future, the writers got to take us on a journey 30 years into the future, just to get a glimpse of what year 2030 may look like for the Simpsons family. Bart turned out to be a deadbeat, which we all saw coming, but Lisa Simpson was the President of the United States, and that's where we witnessed them talking about cleaning up the mess made by President Trump. In at number four, Person of Interest. Way back in 2012, the writers on the show Person of Interest detailed a very intriguing storyline for an episode. What if a young CIA agent discovers that the United States government is spying on its own citizens, and what if when he discovers this, he tries to tell everyone about this illegal activity. Now because that he was doing this, throughout the show, the character would have to avoid being assassinated and work undercover with reporters to break this news story. In real life, that whistleblower's name was Edward Snowden. However, Ed Snowden hadn't even started his job with the CIA until 2013, so the writers at Person of Interest were bang on with what the American government would resort to after 9-11. In at number three, Star Trek. I had to jam this TV future prediction into the mix because the next two are going to be rough, trust me. Star Trek is without a doubt one of the most well-known and groundbreaking sci-fi television shows of all time. Have a look and see if you can spot the prediction of a piece of technology that we now take for granted. Now in that clip, you can see Picard holding what appears to be something very similar to an iPad. In the show, a full 23 years before the invention of the touchscreen tablet, Star Trek had what was called a pad. That's pad with two Ds. It stood for personal access display device. It was just this small flat touchscreen device with no keyboard in sight. It was also connected to their equivalent of the internet. Now of course what he was actually holding was probably just a prop, but it begs the question, did Steve Jobs see this episode and go, I'm gonna make that someday? In at number two, The Legends of Chamberlain Heights. Now this is by far not a well-known show, but the animated show Legends of Chamberlain Heights aired for a short time and did develop a small fan base. It was a Comedy Central project and it certainly did air a ton of dark and sometimes tasteless jokes. One of the darkest jokes that now feels all too real was the prediction of how Kobe would pass away. Yeah. I'm not even kidding, it's a real thing. Now, of course, considering that this animated TV show did predict the future of what would actually become a massive, massive tragedy, Comedy Central immediately went through their archives and removed this episode from the show's database. Last but not least, our number one spot, The Simpsons, again. I'm sorry, but I had to include The Simpsons again in this list because they're just too good at predicting things. During this episode, they referred to it as the house cat flu, but the spread and the result were the same as what we are experiencing right now with COVID. COVID-19. Now, although they depict the start of this breakout as a ploy by media elites to get Americans to watch more television, I would say that our current situation is different from that. This is real, and the worst thing to do right now would be to panic over conspiracy theories while you're in isolation, but the Simpsons were pretty close with being like, hey, a big flu's coming. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Celebrities Who Were Sued By Their Fans. Roxanne Carter says, This sounds terrible, Johnny. You're fired. I'll rehire you if the next video sounds better. Look, I'll do my best uh, to up the quality for the next few that you see from me, but uh, it's quarantine time. You Crazy says, Johnny, are you in quarantine or in a fishbowl? It sounds like you are. I hope not. Great video, Bacon Overlord. I am not in a fishbowl, just in self-quarantine, because Canada basically shut down everything. But we're still doing our best here to keep you all entertained. Elaine Hinton says, throwback to the 90s, wearing flannel and backwards caps. Hell yeah. Well, thank you. I really just put on the hat to make keying up the green screen a lot easier for the editors because Lord knows I got big hair. Bonnie McKendra says, top 10 beyond the screen. What good video today. <laughs> Thanks, Ronnie. Keep on keeping on. What good video today. Bunny Girl says, I love your videos. They are all so entertaining. Ah, oh, that's the goal. Happy we could put a smile on your face today. And that has been the top 10 TV shows that predicted the future and got it right. Thank you for watching it. Thank you to our editors for making it look so good. If you enjoyed this video, show some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this list. And for more videos like this one, all you got to do is tap that playlist when it pops up. From Top 10 Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers. Saying until next time, stay safe out there. Did you hear my cereal in my car? Yeah, I did. You did? I did. I, I could hear it. I don't know if the mic could hear it because I was like yelling. Everyone already thinks that I'm doing it from the inside of a fishbowl anyway, so. 
for, 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 for some perspective, just say the words. So when the writers at Person of Injuries were being, were banned for the life of my Ooh. <clears throat> oh, that's the goal. Happy we could put a smile on your face today. If not, that will. It's pro, 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 getting ahead of myself. During the episode, they referred 